Rebecca from Fauna and Fauna Cloth Nappies um, and this video today is going to show you how to fold muslins to use as nappies on newborns. So take your muslin square which at first glance seems like it's far too big um, and we fold it into a smaller square. So to do so you pull the corners into the middle. Now if you're looking to cloth a very new baby it would be wise to pull the corners beyond the middle and this will help you create an even smaller square. So sort of overshoot the centre point and what you end up making is a bit more like an envelope than, a, um, than a, just a flat square. So you pull this last one over and this first fold that I'm going to show you is called a pad fold. So all you do from this point, so you've created this smaller square, is fold it into three like that and you've created a pad. All you have to do with that, this is the simplest way to do it, is lay this into your wrap like this and then you add it onto the baby so you slide it under, underneath the baby and do it up. That's the simplest um, and easiest way to do it. Um, the, next, the next fold is a Joe fold which is basically just a development of the pad fold. So I'll fold it back into the pad fold and all you do then is sort of put your hand into the middle to hold it down and fold out to create some wings. So the baby's going to lie on it head end here, the feet down here. And then you can just fold it this way, as much or as little as you need, so that it fits on the baby. All you then do, slide it underneath the baby, fold the pad up the front, fold the wings on, and then you use a nappy nipper. You just pull it on like that. And that's your little nappy. Again, all you do then, once that's securely on the baby, is you add the wrap over the top, fold it over, do it up. So this is a newborn size wrap. And as you can see here, it creates quite small leg holes for those tiny little newborn legs. Um, and it will hold it all in just perfectly. And so the third fold, which I found was more beneficial as the baby had got a little bit bigger, so she was still fine to use muslins as nappies, she wasn't out peeing them super quickly, um, you know, they still were fitting her really well, they were, they were still perfect. Um, but these folds sort of had, had outlived their usefulness, I guess is the expression. So the next one, this is called either a back fold or an origami fold. So what you do is you go with a full size muslin, fold it in half and fold it in half again. So this one always looks the most complicated on videos and on these information diagrams that you see, but it really isn't. It just, once you've got your head around it, it's really easy. So I've done my fold, so it's folded into four, and this is the corner with all sort of four loose corners, no folds in this corner. Pick up your first one, first corner, hold that down there and you pull it across like that and what you've done is created the wings that go under the baby. Flip it round like that and this bit here is what's going to create the pad in the middle to go in the gusset. So depending on how big your baby is you can sort of fold it quite narrow or fold it a bit wider. Um, this is the beauty really of flat nappies in general. Um, muslins and terries, you can fold, you can adapt the folds to your baby. Um, you can make them a bit bigger, you can make them a bit smaller, and actually they're quite forgiving as well if they're not perfect, as long as it's all inside the wrap. So the baby's head would be here, the baby's legs would be there. Fold it on. So you could literally just do this and attach it with the nipper, but you might find that um, you've got quite a lot a lot of nappy sitting quite far down the leg. So the best way to do it, I found, is as you bring it around the baby, just give it a bit more of a fold here. So in essence, you make these wings a little bit, uh, a little bit higher up and a little bit shorter. So then pop it on the baby like that. You can fold the wings a little bit if you need to. You'll just find your own way. Like I say, they're really, really flexible. And again, you just put the nipper on Nippers work under tension, so you pull them on quite tight. Add it on, and then once again, 
you would put the wrap over the baby and put it all on. And they are the three easiest, in my opinion, folds for a newborn. So just a word on the nappy nippers. These are used instead of um, the giant sort of safety pins that they used to use. They do have these quite sharp teeth. A safety feature on the nappy nipper is this loop here. It's not for pulling when you're attaching to the baby, you need to pull the whole thing. Um, this loop is actually for folding over the end to protect the teeth so that if the baby were to get hold of it, God forbid, um, or you drop it on the floor and stand on it, it won't cause you any damage. So that is a safety feature to go over the teeth. And that's the end of the video.